<laughs> All right, everyone. Welcome to the welcome to the first marble exhibition tournament, and <laughs> we got 32 amiibo here, ready to do it out. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see how some of these fights play out. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get down to it. Let's get started. So first up, we have Squid Girl Garlic Senior. This is gonna be Wario Inkling. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna look super good for Inkling here, but hey, you know I've been wrong about things before. So. All right. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh damn. All right, they're both just going ham right out the, going ham right out the gate. Okay, but uh, oh man, oh jeez, uh, Squid Girl's not doing super good here. Uh, Girl like Cena just on the attack, on the attack, and you know Wario's kind of a beefy dude. You don't want to get hit by him too much. And oh shit, there's a stock gun already. Add insult to injury. Girl like Cena manages to heal off of that, <laughs> of that jump. Oh, geez. oh jeez. Yeah, Squirt Girl's gonna have to do something. She's gonna have to do something quick, because uh, otherwise, you know, she's gonna get beat up by a fat, greasy Italian guy. Oh, uh, the percents are looking pretty nasty for Garlic Senior there, but yeah, if Wario hits pretty hard. He can turn that, he can uh, turn that gap into a very small one very quickly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just like with that kind of bite right there, just oh, good grief. That bike could just be utterly disgusting, really. Just the heals off of it, does good damage, and damn, he just takes another stock. I don't think this is gonna be a three stock, but you know, like, oh man. At least I hope it's not a three stock right out the gate. That'd be oh, oh jeez. <laughs> Gotta do something quick, Squid. Oh, and there it is. There's the stock gone. At least it won't be a three stock, right? I don't think Squid Girl's got a chance in hell coming back from this one on account of the percent difference and just the amount of stock difference. Oh man, that forward smash almost did it. That forward smash almost did it. Garlic Senior's starting out strong. He's starting out real damn strong. But uh, yeah, with 124%, it's only a matter of time. One clean hit. One clean hit is all he needs. Yeah, at this point. But uh, Squid Girl's not gonna go down without a fight. <laughs> He's fighting back. Oh, yeah, she's fighting back all right, but... Uh, oh, and the fucking waft. There it is. All right, first winner is Garrick Sr. He's moving on to the next round. Very well played. Very well played from uh, our good old Wario here, Garlic Sr. Unfortunately, that means Squid Girl is out of the tournament. So, that's unfortunate. Always next time. All right, so moving right along to our next round, we got Pog Pog versus Asmodeus. Greninja Ganondorf. I have no idea how this one's gonna play out. I mean, Ganondorf hits way harder than what Greninja does, but Greninja's way faster. Hard to say how this is gonna pan out. Hard to say. But, uh, Asmodeus going straight for that forward smash, but uh, Pog Pog didn't want to let him have that. Oh, and the up tilt gets punished by a grab up throw. And then Fog Frog just dashing around, up smash, and throwing out some back air there. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, just got out of range of that Doria. Doria. Just got out of range of that. That could have been nasty. Yeah, as much as he's going to have to do something quick, that forward smash is just not working out for him. Fog Frog is just a little too quick for it. Oh. Yeah, almost got, uh, almost, <laughs> almost got sent flying away, but uh, as much as he's just, uh, Said no, have a back air instead. But uh, oh wow, yeah, those percents, uh, those evened out pretty quick. And Fog Frog going for the grabs there and an up air. Oh, I'm not sure what it did up air there, but I mean it works. Yeah, pers oh, and there's the first stock at 152 percent. I think Fog Frog is probably as much as just evening it straight out again with a nair. I think Fog Frog is gonna have to kill faster than that if he wants to win. He's going to have to take stocks faster than that. But uh, the question is, can he? Oh, he was so good about dodging that Doria before, but uh, he ended up eating one of those. Yeah, he can't eat too many of those, because that will kill you. It's just, as Modi's firing back with all kinds of nair, that up tilt just does nothing, and... Oh! <laughs> Pog, Frog, Pog Frog almost dying to that forward smash. And then... 
What? Did did he just did he just SD with there? He the the, po the pog frog. You can't just SD and expect to win. What are you doing? That was not very pog. Don't SD with there. That as money's is just trying to choke slam him into the abyss. But uh, pog frog's not having any of that and it's not letting that happen. Which uh is good for you because you can't afford to let that happen, pog frog. You need to do something about this. You need to do something about this. He gimped him with neutral beef from the stage. What? Pog Frog. That was Pog. Why didn't you do that the first time? Ooh. Eating that forward smash. Yeah, that's not going to do you any favors, Pog Frog, oh boy. You're going to have to do something quick. You're going to have to close out this stock because Ganondorf does hit way harder than you do. You're a Greninja. He's a Ganondorf. He hits way harder than you. <laughs> You're going to have to close that quick, buddy. He's going for those up smashes in the... Oh, and the up smash. This, the up smash takes it despite the fact that Pogfrog decided he was going to take a little trip, you know, down into the abyss with a dare. But, uh, Pogfrog somehow pulled that one off. Despite the SD, he pulled it off. So, good job. Good job, Pogfrog. You were on to the next round. Asmodeus, unfortunately, you are eliminated. <laughs> Tough break, buddy. Tough break. Maybe you should try something other than up tilt. <laughs> Try something other than up to it, buddy. Better luck next time. Okay, so now we have Boom Man versus Suit Zero. Snake Samus. This is going to be a lot of projectile game here. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of projectile game. There's going to be explosions everywhere. Just explosions. That's what this map is going That's what this fight is going to be, is just rampant explosions. Everything is exploding. Because, uh, you know, when you got Snake and Samus fighting each other, oh yeah, there's going to be a lot of blowing up. Is it? Oh. Oh. That almost worked. That could have worked. Oh, if Boom Man was at a bit higher percent, that uh, Nair probably would have got him. Probably. But, uh, yeah, like I said about the explosions, they're just everywhere at this point. And Boom Man blew himself up with his own grenade without hitting his opponent. Like, at all? And, yeah, he made up for it in Fuller Smash. Alright then. <laughs> he is at 101%, and Suit Zero, well, I mean, she does kind of like to go for those offstage dare. She do like to do that. But, uh, I don't think that's helping her case right now. Because, I mean, yeah, hit him with a dare, sure, but that up smash is going to come back down and hit you. That's the thing about Fighting Snake. He can just blow you up when you hit him. And the up smash evens out the stock count. With 51% deficit, though. Uh, that's going to turn into a 61 here pretty quick, because grenade. Alright, so, let's go. <laughs> He's, he was going for the up tilt, but he was just a little bit off there. Amiibo are dumb sometimes, and they sometimes struggle with simple things. But, uh, that he did not struggle with. Boom Man going for the side B there, just... Wow. <laughs> Alright, stage spike with a side B. I mean, he's going to take that, of course, but, uh, you know, why wouldn't you? <laughs> so, anyway, things are not looking good for Suit Zero right about now. Boom Man is probably going to end up taking a win there unless she does something quick. Like, uh, you know, throw him off stage and get him with a dare. That would do it, but, uh, you have to get it twice. Because, you know, when you're at 82% on your last stock against 92% now on your last stock against a snake... Who has a stock? Who has a stock lead on you? There's a pretty good chance that you're just gonna get blowed up and die, and end up taking an L because of it. But uh, yeah, those damage percents are getting getting pretty high. Somebody's gonna die pretty quick. Somebody is gonna <laughs> somebody's taking an L here, and I think it's gonna be Suit Zero because you know with a percent you know with a percent gap like that, especially when you have to. You know, just come off a of stock. I mean, like that forward, that that throw was nice, but like you're at 130 percent on your last stock, and your opponent's fresh, and then you just got blown up by C4. There you go, that snake for you. <laughs> he just blows you up. So Boom Man's moving on to the next round. Suit Zero is not. So there we go. That's that round. All right, next match, Killian Zobek. Robin K. Rule. Yeah. 
if I'm an amiibo right now, K. Roll's not somebody I want to go up against. Three, but uh, one, yeah, who's to who's to say how this could pan out? You know, I've seen weird things happen, and uh, I don't think Killian's a bad Robin, but uh, man, K. Roll's just a really tough opponent. Like, yeah, in the amiibo world, K. Roll is absolutely a top tier, so <laughs> you really got to be careful about that. And uh, so back here, well, he will absolutely dunk you. He will absolutely dunk his opponents. Just total disrespect. Just look at that swagger. Just look at that. Just look at this man just... Look at this crocodile man just move around. Just no respect for his opponent. Just even going for that... It's like just even going for Nair like that. Down smash at the ledge. That's a... That's a... Yeah, that's a Robin and Kill percent. Wow. Wow. Had that not been Robin, that fool's, that footstool would have been the end of it. Had it not been Robin, had like had it been somebody with worse recovery, yeah, that footstool would have been the end of that. But uh, the percents are starting to starting to look a little more even. You know, like we got both of them in kill percent at this point. But uh, that also means rage is a factor, so things are going to hit a lot harder. And oh, Killian almost taking that stock, almost. That Levin Sword, though, you can't go fucking around with that. That's, that is no joke. Oh, <laughs> in the back here taking a stock, but he's at, he is at 154%. It's not going to take much to even out the stock count. At, just like that, jumping right into that blunderbuss shot. That's what did it. And, I mean, yeah, like 43%, you know, like that's kind of a big difference, but that can change really fast. Really, really fast. So the real question is, oh, well that's already almost evened out entirely again. This match is actually proving to be a bit closer than I thought it was going to. But uh, oh wow, that was oh oh the dare, almost got him with the dare, just about. Not quite though, not quite. So Kelly just gonna charge up that neutral B there. So, yeah, he's basically got a veritable nuke just ready to fire at any moment. And, uh, oh, just get clapped in the face. That charge goes to waste. Nothing out of that. All right, then. So, right now, this is starting to look like it's going to be K rule for the win here. But, uh, you know, it's a Mabo. It's Smash. Things could change in a moment. One moment's, uh, really all anybody needs. But, uh, it's not looking good for... It's not looking good for Killian here. Like, he, he drew a really tough opponent first round. And it's really kind of starting to show. It's not looking good for him. He's going to have to do something real quick. He's going to have to do something real fast to even out that stock count. Oh, jeez. And, all right, the stocks are even, but that's a big, big percent difference. And that's also a Robin and Kill percent of a K roll. So, I don't think that's going to go very well for him. <laughs> that's not going to go very well for him, but they are both on last stock. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I can't take any more of those class. Oh, and a dare. Just a total disrespect. So back advances. You know, he's uh, he's got that K rule thing going on. He's a big... F yeah, he's a big boy. <laughs> he is a very big boy. And, uh... Yep. Alright. That's who's advancing. Alright. Next up, Slayer versus Wraith. This is gonna be a Simon Sheik. Okay. One is fast, the other zones you forever. <laughs> so how's this gonna play out? How how exactly will this play out? One, uh, Wraith should probably counter blessings that it's not a uh, totally flat stage. There's platformers to work with. But uh I mean if you're a, if you're a Belmont you don't really care about platforms, you have X. But uh looks like Slayer's just going for the forward smash. He just really likes he likes his forward smash. He likes his forward smash, and he just kind of likes to hang out and just. Oh, now now the axes start coming out. Wraith is in a really bad position here. She's really got to get in close to be able to do anything. Whereas you know, Slayer being a Simon does not. <laughs> he is not burdened by such a thing. But the down smash to the ledge just takes that first stock. Oh man. Yeah, this is not going to be looking good for a Sheik here. Not at all going to be looking good for a Sheik. Oh, 
I mean, yeah, his landing hits now, but uh, she doesn't hit very hard. Uh, despite that, that forward smash was enough to do it. Just yeah, the Belmont recovery. It's uh, pretty bad. It's not very good. Not at all very good. So okay. I actually have no idea how this match is going to play out because, like, you know, like, if you're Sheik in this scenario, like, all you really got to do is just get past that Belmont spam and that Belmont range. And if you're a Belmont, you just want to, you know, utilize your range to your advantage. But, uh, Slayer here doesn't really seem to be doing that super good. Like, Faith is just getting in on him. Oh, man. Yeah, he's really going to have to do something quick because he's getting the shit kicked out of him. I mean, that down smash up there was nice, but, uh, yeah, like, yeah, no. You're not going to last very long there, Slayer, buddy. You you got to do something. You got to do something quick, because, uh, you're getting your ass kicked. You are getting your ass handed to you. And, uh, I mean, shit, that's, like, the percents are kind of even, but I don't really know what... Going for the forward tilts is not... Down smash at ledge is... Alright. <laughs> down smash at ledge is working out for you. That's not a... <laughs> that's not a mistake at all. No. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know if uh, Wraith is going to be able to even this out. I mean, like, yeah, she can just get the fuck out of... Uh, she can just get the fuck out of her opponent. Like, off stage and whatnot, but... It's just a matter of get past that Belmont range. And, uh, get him off stage. That's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do if you're Sheik in this scenario. <laughs> but, uh, I think she succeeded. Yeah, she succeeded. She got him off stage and gimped him. <laughs> Just gimped that horrible Belmont recovery, and there's not a whole lot... Like, you know, as a Belmont, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. Not a whole lot to be done about that, so we got our... <laughs> so, we got ourselves our, uh... Sheik moving on. All right. <laughs> So this is probably going to be an interesting... This is going to be interesting. Okay. We got a Meta Knight versus a uh, Incineroar. Dark Knight. He's edgy and he is mysterious and all that other kind of crap. He's got a tragic backstory too. It's just like... God awful terrible. Like... It's like every edgelord cliche ever. It's so weird. But uh... Hellcats just seems to have a... Okay. Yeah, okay. Go for the revenge and then the down smash, okay. Yeah, that'll work. But, uh... Yeah, Dark Knight's gotta be careful, though, because, uh... Incineroar tends to hit pretty... Yeah, Incineroar tends to hit pretty hard. Uh... Yeah, if you're Dark Knight in this scenario, your best bet, get the Incineroar... Get that Incin off stage, and then just gimp him. That's your best bet. But you gotta watch out for side B, though, because he can fuck you up with that. Ah... Uh, yeah, that down beat missed horribly. And then, uh... Come on, Dark Knight. You really just gotta gimp him. You really just gotta gimp the guy. And I know you're a total fucking edgelord, but come on, man. Yeah, I think you're gonna die horribly at this rate. <laughs> things are not looking... Oh, the dare spike. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. Things are not looking good for Dark Knight. This is not a very good, uh... <laughs> this is not a very good first... Yeah, this is not a very good uh, tournament for you right now, buddy. This is not at all a good tournament for you right now. And I apologize. You got that Incineroar in the first match, but at least you're not going to get three-stocked. What I can say is things are not looking super good for you. And, I mean, if you can gimp him twice, then you can win. Like, but, uh, man, things are just not looking super good for you right now. You're going to have to... All right, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. I mean, if Dark Knight can do that one more time, then they can win. You know, that is one more time without getting murdered horribly. Yeah, I like that. Just taking that forward smash right to the face. Brutal. Alright, so, Hellcat advances. <laughs> Hellcat advances. Ah, Dark Knight just couldn't really... He just couldn't get it together there. He had to gimp him, but uh, that didn't happen. All right, next, Dan Garm, we have Wolf versus Ryu. I'm not super happy with the Wolf Amiibo, honestly. I don't think he's that good. 
But, uh, I could be horribly wrong. Because, like, in all honesty, not just the reflex right away. Okay. But, uh, I don't think this one's gonna go super, super good for, uh, our wolf here. I think he's really gonna have some struggles here. Does he, uh... Yeah, I'm just not seeing a whole lot out of him, but, uh, I mean... Dan's not doing super good, either. I mean, that, uh, that up smash almost killed, holy shit. Okay, um... <laughs> yeah. So, Garm, what are you doing? You, you just took that forward smash right there, and your opponent's at only at 55... 69 now, thanks to your forward tilt. But, uh, I'm not really sure what you're doing there, buddy. Like, you, you gotta do something about that. You're trying to catch him with a down air off stage, but uh, Ryu's got that Shoryu, and uh, that's gonna hurt really bad. And you're just gonna take damage for nothing, bud. You gotta do something, man. Y you gotta do something. I know that you're trying to go for that down air spike. I don't know why I taught you that. But uh, I mean, oh shit, you might actually win. Yeah, see, Dan couldn't recover from that. No recovery there. But, uh, you're just gonna take that forward smash. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the bracket. Oh, my oh, just the raw fucking Shoryu right there. Oh, my God. Yeah, so that's Dan up. That's Dan up a stock. Ah, uh, Garm, you're gonna have to do something, buddy. You're gonna have to do something. You're gonna have to kill him. Come on. You gotta do it, man. I don't actually believe in you. But, uh, I think Dan's gonna kick your ass. Because I have no faith in you, my wolf. I have no faith. I do not believe. I am not a believer. Yep. Yep. I figured. <clears throat> I figured. So, our space furry has lost to a homeless man. This fight was basically watching an edgelord furry fight a homeless guy. That's what that fight was. But uh, anyhow, our homeless man advances. And uh, now we have a robot versus a teenager. This should be interesting. Robot versus teenager. Here we go. Three, two, <laughs> Only in Smash go. can you have a homeless man fight a furry and a robot fight a teenager. It's amazing. But uh, anyhow... Rock Phantom here. This is a Mega Man Joker matchup. Okay. And, uh, right now, things are not looking super good for our robot. He's getting beat up by a teenager. Uh, he's gonna have to do something pretty quick here. I'm not really sure what he's got going on. But, uh, he's absolutely getting his ass whipped by a teenager. Rock, you gotta do something, buddy. Come on, man. Come on, man. Don't just eat that. Like, do something. Like, I mean, you got, like, fucking, uh, you got dash attack, you got down tilt, you got fucking up tilt, and you got E to forward smash and die. You know, there's, there's all kinds of things you can do, dude. I mean, I like that parry. That parry was nice, but now our teenager has his edgy friend in a top hat. So, uh, it's not looking super good for you, pal. Yeah. Our robot is down two stocks when the teenager is, a. Uh, the teenager is only just getting the kill percent. Like, I don't think he's quite at kill percent yet. And, uh, he's still got his edgy top hat friend. Oh, wait, his edgy top hat friend just vanished. Oh, the up tilt, though. That up tilt, okay, so at least you're not getting three stocked. But I still don't have a whole lot of faith in you, my robot pal. I do not have a whole lot of faith in you right now. Just things are not looking super good for you. And, uh... I think you're probably gonna lose this one. You're probably gonna take an L here. But, uh, that's okay. You know, we all take an L sometimes, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, with a percent difference like that and just getting absolutely fucking wailed on. Oh, man. Oh, man, I don't think this is gonna last a whole lot longer. When you're at 92% on your last stock, yeah. That's not gonna last too much longer. Oh, and our teenager has his edgelord friend again. So this is definitely going to be over pretty quick. It's just a matter of whether or not our teenager can actually land a hit. And he does. And, uh, he flies away. And then, uh, he gets hit. Okay, so 
Teenager, you lost you lost your edgelord friend in the top hat. So now you're kind of at this point where you just have to rely on you. Like it's all you, bro. Oh, and he takes that up tilt again. Well, the stock count is even, but that damage percent though. That damage percent, like, I don't see a robot pal coming back here. I just don't see it. Like, he's gonna lose to a teenager. Alright, teenager, just go ahead and close out the stock. Hit him with, like, an up smash or something. Just close it out, man. Close it out, man. I know you can... I, that almost did it. And the dash attack does it. <laughs> Alright. So the teenager takes the win. Okay. Teenager beats robot. Good job, teenager. Do -do 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 -do. Nice. All right. So, all right. So that's the first half of the bracket. So now we have Archer and Nighthawk. This is Byleth Falco. I actually have no fucking idea how this is gonna play out because, like, I want to say Byleth win, but I mean, Three, Falco gets in two, close. One, that could be another matter entirely. But, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that this one's probably gonna turn up Byleth. Probably. So. Hmm. I don't think I was wrong yet. I don't think I was wrong yet. You know, like, Archer's a strong Byleth. He's a strong Byleth. He's a strong boy. And, uh, uh, Nighthawk's not weak either. Like, he's a good Falco. He's a good Falco. He could do better, but he's not bad. He is not bad at all, but, uh, yeah, I just kind of, I guess it just kind of depends on who lands their kill moves first, really. Ah, uh, oh man, Archer, what are you doing? He might actually, he might lose. I might have been wrong about this, because I didn't think that he would end up taking an L to the Falco of all things. I didn't think he would. No, I figured that, uh... I figured he'd have the range to just keep Falco out. It's like, I mean, Falco's not that fast. You know, like, he doesn't move that fast, right? So I figure, you know, he's Byleth. He's got the range to keep him out. You know, he can just keep him out, and there's not a whole lot that can be done about that. I mean, Blaster is a thing, sure, but, like... Why? <laughs> Falco's Blaster really isn't that good. Like, Wolf has a way better blaster. So, and now we've reached a point where Archer's just beating the shit out of Nighthawk here. He is just beating the shit out of this bird man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't see this one. I don't see this one going away of Falco at all. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. This is going to be a Byleth win. I'm still convinced of that. Like, unless something crazy happens and, like, Nighthawk just pops the fuck off. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, no. But, uh, you know, he might. He might. He might just pop the fuck off. I doubt it. I fucking doubt it. But, you know, I've, I, I've seen strange things happen before. You know, so, uh, maybe. Maybe. Hard to say, though. I do know that this probably won't be a two-stock. Just because of that percent difference, and... Yeah. That right there, that down tilt. This is actually still totally winnable for Nighthawk, but, uh... Man, I got my doubts. I got my doubts about that. So, man, all kinds of action going on on that one small platform there. All right then, but uh, yeah, that's that's kind of a big percent difference. Then again, smash. Things could change in a moment. Uh, yeah, but when you're in kill percent though, when you're in kill percent though, and the opponent is nowhere close to it, that's kind of an uphill battle. Cause you know you take one stray hit, and that could be all. That could be it. You know, it's last stock. Like they can't afford to be fucking around. Just cannot afford to be fucking around, and uh. Ooh, that side B would have did it there, that's for sure. I'm not sure why Archer decided to charge an initial B right there, but oh, that up B does it. That up B does it for sure. Sends that bird plummeting down to earth. No hesitation. 
And Archer advances. Do -do -do -do. All right, then. Oh. Oh, you poor Bayonetta. So, next up is uh, going to be Umbreaker Kaiser. I don't think I'm going to commentate this one. I'm just going to let this one play out. <laughs> I already know how this one's going to pan out. I know how this one's going to pan out. This is... This might be a three stock. So I'm just gonna let this I'm just gonna let this one happen. Yeah. Ah. Uh, for those unaware, as far as like uh amiibo and whatnot, Bayonetta is uh really not good. Which makes me sad because I love her character. Because Bayonetta herself is just fucking awesome. It's just her amiibo can't really like. As far as amiibo go, Bayonetta can't really do anything. It's like, and it makes me sad because, like I said, I just love her character. She's awesome. But uh, yeah, yeah. There was only one way this was gonna go. Uh, Kakaiser probably got the easiest first round ever. He probably got the easiest first round, I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, them's the bricks sometimes, I guess. I mean, maybe it won't be a three stock? But, uh, I don't know, man. It's probably gonna be a three stock. still think it might. It still very well might. Yeah. Yeah, it was a three star. <laughs> oh, God. Umber, I'm so sorry that that's who you got in your first round. But, uh... Yeah. Blame... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that coming. Oh, man. All right. Next, we have Seymour versus Furry Bait. Seymour is a prana plant. Furry Bait is Furry Bait. I refuse to call him Lucario at this point. He's Furry Bait. That's why I made him the pink one, because he's a twink. No, like, seriously, though. Like, if you, like, if you see, like, any kind of, like... Okay, so, like, if you see, like, any Lucario Rule 34, like, ever, like, dude, Lucario is always a sub. Like, every time. It never fails. He always is. Just every... It's like... And he's usually a toink, too. <laughs> he's usually femboy sub. That's how people draw Lucario <laughs> in that kind of context. And, uh... I mean, frankly, I don't think he has a ghost of a chance against Seymour, but, like... The Seymour's just gonna fucking munch him, and there's just not a whole lot he's gonna be able to do about it. I think that's what's gonna end up happening here, but, uh, yeah, you know, so, uh. <clears throat> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I called him Furry Uwu because, uh, you know, Lucario is Furry Bait. Like, he he's Fur Bait, dude. He's Fur Bait. But, uh, at the same time, I'm not necessarily complaining about that. I'm just calling it like it is. You know what I mean? Just calling it like it is, you know, Lucario's furry bait. You know, he's fur bait. Calling it like it is. Anyhow, um, I mean, yeah, he's in, like, I hit really hard no percent, but, like, I think he's got, like, the same weight as Sephiroth, which is kind of low, so he can't really utilize auras particularly well, which is kind of what holds him back a lot of the time. Like, he... He just doesn't hit hard enough without high aura, you know? Just does not hit hard enough. And, like, that's kind of his big issue. Ugh, yeah. This one's definitely gonna go to way of plant. Ugh. Yeah, mon Munch Plant beats, uh... Munch Plant munches a furry. That's what this one's gonna be. 
At least that's what I'm calling. That's kind of how I'm calling this one right now. Munch plant munch as a furry. I don't think I'm gonna be wrong. I really don't think I am because, you know, fur bait at over 100%. Yeah, there it is. That forward mesh takes it. I mean, you put up a good fight, fur bait. You put up a good fight. But, uh. Yeah. I will ooh woo to pay respects. Ooh woo! They will ooh with the paper specs. Oh, jeez. Alright, so now we got Red Knight versus Doc. See, Red Knight, his rival is Dark Knight. And Red Knight is like what you would kind of expect of a knight. But he's got that mysterious bat. He's got that uh, Batman mysterious thing going on. Whereas Dark Knight is just like Red Knight, but like super edgy and morally go. ambiguous. One, but uh, he's fighting a doctor. Now, I have no idea how this is going to play out, because Meta Knight can just gimp the fuck out of Dr. Mario, and there's not a whole lot Dr. Mario can do about it, but Dr. Mario also hits like a truck. Uh, yeah, okay, that was a gimp. That was gimp recovery right there. Shit. Uh, Red Knight could take the win here. Mostly just because he can abuse his opponent's just horrifically bad recovery. And that's just kind of how... That's just kind of where Mennonite, you know, just works. Like, he can just abuse bad recoveries, and there's not a whole lot that his opponent can do about it. Like, that Nair could have been a stock right there. Like, the fucking Mennonite Nair could have been a stock. You know, if Doc had just went the other way went after getting hit, that would have been that. Uh, but it looks like Doc just can't pin him down. Oh, that dare stomp. Oof. Oh, shit. <laughs> those nares, man. Doc has really got to watch out for those nares offstage. And, ah, uh, being at 125. Yeah. He's going to lose another stock here pretty quick. But, uh... Man, he just keeps getting he keeps getting saved by that nair, just getting hit the wrong way. Getting launched the wrong direction. But, uh, those nares just keep coming out, and eventually... Yeah, one of them kills. Eventually, it would. So, for Red Knight, this is totally winnable. But, I mean, Doctor's even at the stock count, so this could go either way. It really could. It just kind of depends on whether or not Red Knight can actually get Doc off stage and gimp him. Which I think he just successfully did, yes. So, Red Knight's going to. Red Knight advances. Because he was able to do what he needed to do. So, good job. Good job, Red Knight. You just placed higher than your rival. All right, who's next? Ooh, Dark Kenny versus Mustard. So, Dark Kenny is Super Kenny's morally ambiguous, edgy twin, who has every bit the tragic backstory of Dark Knight, and it's gonna get way more tragic because he is up against a Kirby. This is probably gonna go super badly for Dark Kenny because uh, Mustard here is a Kirby, and uh. Kirby is kind of a nightmarish opponent for Ken. Because, I mean, like, when you could just gimp his bad recovery, and just have it so that there's not much you can do about it, when you can dodge his forward smash by down smashing, right? <laughs> you could dodge his forward smash by down smash, and there's not a whole lot that Ken can do about it. Like, the main thing you have to be careful about is to not eat too many of his fucking Shoryu. But, uh... Oh, jeez. That is actually... Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mustard, you're supposed to be able to beat Ken. You're supposed to be able to beat Ken. What are you doing? I mean, in one sense, I kind of want Dark Kenny to win because that would make things later interesting. But, uh... Yeah, that doesn't always happen. That doesn't always happen. And, uh... Okay, yeah, that dare... That, yeah, that dare will do it. That dare will absolutely do it. And that's... Part of why Kirby's a nightmare opponent for Ken. Because Kirby can just go off stage and hit you with anything and you can't recover anymore. <laughs> oh. Just... 
Raw Shorty right there. Okay. <laughs> Raw Shorty right there. Okay. We'll just do that then. Oh, but now, Ken, you're in a horrible place. You don't want to be there. You don't want to be there against a Kirby who likes to do up B at the edge. Because, uh, that's you not recovering. Like, the only thing saving you, I think, is the fact that this is a battlefield stage. I think that's the only thing saving you right now, Dark Kenny, as far as that goes. But, uh, yeah, no, your opponent's in kill percent. You can do it. It's just a matter of whether or not you can, you know, say, sure you can, and win. Oh, no. Not like that, you won't. Not by eating a forward smash, you won't. Ah, yeah, Dark Kenny, I don't think this fight's gonna go your way. I just don't think it's gonna go your way, pal. I think you're gonna end up taking an L to a Kirby. Oh, man. Just closing out that stock, though. Just that close forward light, straightness. Just close forward light, straightness, or you. Fantastic. But, uh, you still got a ways to go, buddy. You know, you actually could do this, Dark Kenny. You actually could win. You actually could. But, uh,. Not by being off stage, you won't. Not by being off stage, you won't. Okay, the percents are pretty well even. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that does it. Uh, yeah. That's a terrible... That is a terrible opponent for Ken. Ah, uh, I feel bad for you, Dark Kenny. <laughs> Your backstory got more tragic. Ah. Mustard advances. And Dark Kenny's backstory gets more tragic. Well, Dark Kenny did not get to meet his rival Super Kenny in the tournament. Super Kenny is fighting Bowie next. So, Ken, Captain Falcon. Alright. How is this going to pan out? How is this going to... Oh, and it's a flat stage too. Alright. We got Omega Form stage. Of the last stage that we were just doing. But, uh... Hmm. I actually don't know how this is going to pan out. Because, on the one hand, you know, like, Captain Falcon can get in a lot easier than what Ken can, but Ken wants to be up close anyway. And Ken can do a whole lot of damage when he's up close to something. So... I think this one's going to end up going the way of Bowie, but I don't think it's going to be an easy fight for Bowie by any means. And, ah, you know, Super Kenny might surprise me. Super Kenny just might surprise me. He is super. He is, in fact, super. But, uh, yeah, he's probably going to take a... No, no, he made it back. He didn't use his jump. All right. So, oh, yep, yeah, that took him out, though. It didn't last very long, but he made it back. So, uh, Super Kenny, you, you kind of have to hit him with something that kills stuff. Like, kick him in the face. Kick him in the face, and you can, you know... Okay, maybe not that kick him in the face, but, like, a different kick him in the face. You came dangerously close to getting dunked. Buddy. Bowie is rather adept at dunking. He's also rather adept at running off stage and air dodging for some reason. Ah, uh, Amiibo dumb, man. Amiibo dumb. They do dumb shit all the time. They're really good at being really dumb really fast. So, you know, that's why all kinds of weird, wacky, wonderful things happen when they fight each other. And, uh, you know, it's just how, how that kind of pans out sometimes. But, uh, Super Kenny's in danger of being horribly murdered. And he probably will be. He probably will be. It's like, this is kind of a rough opponent for a Ken, because Captain Falcon can just move so damn fast. It's just really hard to keep him pinned down. You know, he can just move hella fast, and he hits hella hard, and he has more range on his attacks than what Ken does. And In some ways, I think Captain Falcon is like Ken, but better. As far as Amiibo go. Because... They both want to do kind of the same thing, it's just one has much better reach and a much better time 
you know, much easier time getting in close. Uh, Super Kenny, yeah, no, he's not, he's not gonna end up winning this one, like, unless he just, like, pops off. And I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think that's gonna happen because he's gonna get kicked in the nuts and, uh, just sent hurling off the stage. That's just kind of how that happened. Bam. You, you, you can't tell me that's not where he got kicked with that down smash. Like, that was like fucking foot and groin kind of thing. You can't tell me he didn't get kicked there. You can't tell me he didn't get kicked there. We all saw the same thing. Ah. Alright, so Bowie advances. All right, the Ash Imposter and uh, a Shepherd. All right then. So not Ash here. Uh, I think he might he might imitate Ash in that he gets to like the semifinals and then he chokes really hard, or like plot happens and the plot says, "No, Ash, you're not allowed to win this particular Pokemon League." That could be the case. That could be the case. And I think. The Legit, I think the only reason he ever won Alola, like, at all, was because there were no other top tiers. <laughs> there were no other top tiers around, so, uh... Like, Guzma, like... As much as, like, as much as I, uh, find Guzma entertaining, like... He legit just be angry bug guy. Like, Guzma is legitimately just bugsy but angry. Like, Guzma is gangsta, bugsy, but angry. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't think I am. I think I called it. But, uh... Yeah, now. Uh, alright, so it looks like the Shepherd is winning. I think the Shepherd is winning. That looks like that's what's happening. And, uh, you know... These... Hmm... He does have a stock lead. Now he doesn't. So this could kind of go either way. This one could go either way, I think. You know, but like... Oh, man, with the percents looking like that, and... Mm. Yeah, I know. That's... that's yeah. Alright, the shepherd... The shepherd beats the 11-year-old with a fire dragon. Or, oh, wait, I'm sorry. Charizard's not Dragon-type. Okay, so the Shepherd beats the 11-year-old with a Fire Lizard. So that's that. Shepherd advances. Hooray! He is the, uh... He is the excellently handsome Crom. Hmm. What's up? All right, next we have Kane versus Velocity. So, Dark Pit, Sonic. All right. Uh, hard to say how this is going to pan out. I have no idea. It's probably going to be Kane. Kane's probably going to win. I think that's how this is going to go. I think. Because I think I'm probably going to need to revisit Sonic here. See if I can uh, make him better. Like, he's not bad right now, but... Man, I could make him better. I think I could make him better for sure. Hell, I could make Kane better. Because I did notice a couple of things that he does that I don't really like so much, and that can be an issue. But, uh, Kane's taking the early lead. Holy shit, that is a... Yeah, that that right there. That right there. That up beyond stage. That's a problem. I need to fix that. Um, But all the same, he's taking an early lead. You know, with... Oh, man. He, he took a stock lead while only having 15%. And, you know, like, it's Smash. Sometimes that happens. Oh, Sonic just got gimped horribly. Yeah, he's not getting back from that. Ah, uh, this might be our second three stock. I don't know. Velocity's gonna have to do something to take that, to even things out a bit. But, uh, if he doesn't, it'll be the second three stock of the tournament. Oof. I mean, like, Umbra versus Kokaiser. Like, I already knew that was gonna be a three stock, dude. Like, that was gonna be a three stock. I knew that already. And... <laughs> This one could turn into a second. Could turn into a second. I hope it doesn't, because, I mean, who wants to see people get three-stocked, right? But, uh, 
Yeah, as things go on, the amount of three stocks should go down very significant. Oh, that f oh, oh, that fair, that fair, fair. But uh, that didn't matter that much because Kane just came back down and fired back with a forward smash and took the win. So Kane advances. Ha ha. All right then. And I think that is the first round over. So, moving on to round two. We're going to have Garlic Senior versus Pog Frog now. Alright, Wario Greninja. I have no idea. I have no idea. I want to say this is going to go the way of Garlic Senior. That's kind of what I want to say. But... I don't know, man. I think Pogfrog is kind of a wild card. Because he could do, like, fucking goddamn anything. And I have no idea how it's going to pan out. So... Eh? I'm tentatively saying Garlic Senior right now. That's who I think is going to win. But, uh... You know... Who knows what could happen. And I don't think these two are that far apart. Yeah. Yeah, see. I don't think they're that far apart. <laughs> he just fucking hooked his motorcycle at him. Oh my god. What? Local fat Italian man throws motorcycle at Frog. But, uh, yeah, no, Bug Frog is in pretty bad shape right about now, because, uh, eventually that chomp is going to kill. Uh, that... <sighs> Almost. Almost. But, uh, Pog... When Pogfrog gets back on stage only to get killed by an up smash, of all things. Alright. He gets back on stage only to get killed by an up smash. Yeah. This is starting to look the way a Garlic Senior here. Pogfrog is, uh, gonna have to do... Like, I think he's gonna have to pop off to win this one, honestly. <laughs> he's gonna have to pop off to win, because I don't think he's going to, because I think uh, Garlic Senior here has got WAP ready. Oh, I think he's got... Does he have waft? I think he does. And if he does have waft... Yeah, he does have waft, but he whiffed. He whiffed... He whiffed... And, uh... Waft, honestly, probably would have killed. Or come very close to it. Now it would have. Yeah, with the percent being what it is now, it absolutely would have killed. But, uh... Things are not looking good for Bog Frog. You know, he's almost 100%. You know, and... Oh, yep, that'll do it. He picked up the motorcycle and just got punched in the gut. Alright. Garlic Senior moving on to... Garlic Senior moving on to round three. Good job. Yeah, fat, greasy Italian man on the motorcycle. Alright. So next up, Boom Man Sobek. Okay. I actually have no fucking idea how this is going to play out. I mean, K. Rool's, like, a tough opponent for, like, anybody, but, like, Snake has this thing to where, Herder, you hit me, but I'll blow you up anyway. Snake doesn't care how good you think your neutral game is, he will still blow you up. Not like that, he won't. He absolutely got dunked, and I think this is probably where uh, uh, Boom Man is going to just take an L. Like, I think he's going to take an L on this one, because, yeah, why didn't you know it? K. Rule's the big heavy boy. He's the second heaviest character on the roster. Second heaviest. And uh, he tends to be pretty hard to actually KO, just because of his, you know, weight and armor abilities and whatnot. But uh, he's probably going to lose this next stock here pretty quick. Up tilt. Yep, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it! <laughs> okay. So... Uh, this could still go either way, just because, you know, Snake, I blow shit up. You punch me in the face, I drop a grenade and it blows you up. That's kind of how Snake rolls. But, uh... <laughs> Jeez. He very well could have staged spiked himself with his own C4. You know, his C4, that could have staged spiked him. 
But, uh... I don't think this is going to be a two-stock. Yeah, no, I think Boom Man is going to manage to take another stock, but I don't think he's going to win. Yeah. Because, like I say, every time Sobek lands a hit, he gets blowed up. Yeah. That, that jab, he got blowed up. He tried to hit him, he got blowed up. Jab again, he gets blowed up. <laughs> That's what you get when fighting Snake. He is, like, you you hit me in the face, I just blow you up. Kaboom! That down smash will do it, though, and it did turn out to be a two-stock when it shouldn't have. Well, all right, we got a kid roll moving on. Da -da 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 Good grief. All right, so... Ah, uh, Wraith Hellcat. How's this one going to pan out? I hope this one's not as one-sided as Umbroco Kaiser, because that would kind of suck. So I hope this isn't going to be as one-sided as that. Uh, it could, though. Because, I mean, Instant just hits way, way harder. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, that, that that's a big damage deficit. And, uh... Ensign is also pretty heavy. He tends to be hard to actually... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think I see where this one's going, guys. I think I see where this one's going, guys. I don't think, uh... I don't think our Sheik here is gonna be able to actually gimp him well enough. Because, uh, the Sheik just does not hit very hard. Um... I mean, at least we have the handsome furry bait advancing, right? This is basically Ninja fights a furry. Ninja fights a muscular furry. That's what this is. Yeah, so far things have been going kind of how I expected them to. Yeah, I was kind of hoping there'd be an upset. But, uh, I don't think there's gonna be one, guys. I don't think that's gonna happen. Nope. Nope. Yeah, race gonna lose to Hellcat. That's... that. That's how this looks right now. This apps That's how... Ooh. There was a success... Successful Gimp. Haha. <laughs> gimp recovery. But, uh, I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference when a percent looks like that. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I have been wrong about things before. But, uh, ooh. Oh, maybe... Oh, no, the dash attack does it. The dash attack does it. That is Hellcat advancing. That is Hellcat advancing. But, uh, you know, Wraith put up a good fight. Wraith put up a good fight. Da -da -da -da. All right. So, now we are on to the homeless man versus the teenager. I have no idea how this is going to go. This could go either way. Homeless man, teenager. Three, two, no idea. Go! Not, not a one. But, uh, okay, so the teenager has a knife and the homeless man can fire energy beams out of his hands. Um, yeah. This is actually looking like a pretty decent fight overall, though. But, uh... That teenager's got that edgy fallen angel friend with a top hat. So... I mean... Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Things are not looking good for a homeless man right about now. He's probably wondering where the fuck this other guy came from. And why is he floating and why does he have wings? And then he just dies to a forward smash. Alright. So yeah, things are not looking super good for our homeless man right now. What are you gonna do, homeless guy? Homeless man! Do a thing! Don't just let this teenager beat you up for reasons, I guess. Are you gonna lose a fight to a teenager homeless man? Because I think that's what's gonna happen at this rate. It could happen. We could have our teenager advancing to round three. 
Not like that, he won't. It's like that down light and assure you. Oh man, yeah, that'll fuck you up. You gotta be careful about that. But uh, yeah, no, our teenager still has a slight lead. So, what are you doing, teenager? Are you? Ooh, gnarly. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna go particularly well for a homeless man because the edgy top hat fallen angel friend just came out to play again. So, homeless man, you're kind of in a tough spot. You are in a tough spot because, yeah. That edgy friend with the top hat. Yep, looks like the teenager is gonna probably end up winning this one too. He beat a robot, and now he's well on his way to beating a homeless man. So, good job to our teenager. Good job. Oh! Oh, the homeless man is not going down without a fight. So, I'll say that at least. But, uh... I sometimes wonder if our teenager here needs to focus more on his grades rather than his ability to beat up homeless people and robots. Ah, who am I kidding? <laughs> Beating up homeless people and robots is way more important. Wait, hang on. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that. I probably should not have said that one. Or at least worded that differently. <laughs> oh, that's shit. I probably should have worded that differently, but uh, that's okay. You know what? It, it, everybody knows what I mean. You know what I mean. Anyway, the teenager wins, and his grades fall even further. He will not graduate high school at this rate. But he's good at beating up robots, and yeah, he is good at tournaments. Yeah, he's he's moving on to round three. He's good at tournaments. All right, Archer Kukaiser. So, this one, uh... Ah, oh, man, I'm a... Uh, uh, could go either way. I think this one's gonna go... Either way, honestly. Because, like, they both got good range, they both hit hella hard. Ah, man, I have no idea. I haven't the foggiest on how this one's gonna pan out. But, uh... Yeah, like I said, could go either way. Could go either way. Uh, I say that, but uh, Archer has yet to actually be hit until that moment. So, yeah, Archer is in a very significant advantage position <laughs> right now because his opponent is at 152% when he is himself is at 12. 162 now. Okay, Archer, just kill him. Dear God, man, just kill him. Like, dude, you, you... Okay, there you go. There you go. Good job. Good job. You actually, uh... You got a pretty significant lead here, Archer. So, uh, if you don't fuck it up, you're probably going to win. I'll be totally honest. This is definitely looking like it's going to be a Byleth win. Definitely how it looks right now. And, uh... Yeah. I mean... Socks are evened out now. Maybe I was horribly wrong. Maybe. You know, because the stock's just evened out. And, uh... Hmm. You know... I'm not really sure. Because the percents aren't too far off. You know, it's, it's the kind of thing that could change really, really fast. You know, just you eat a straight smash attack or something, or you eat a straight grab. Ugh! Oh. Sorry about that. <clears throat> but yeah, I know. Like, things in Smash could just change at a moment's notice. Um. They're both at over 100 right now, and that neutral boot is gonna take it. That neutral boot takes the stock. Bam! Just shoots him right in the chest and, and then takes the back air. Alright. So. This is down to the wire now. Down to the wire. Oh, man. Things are going to start getting tough from here on. For the opponents, for all of the competing amiibo, this is when things are going to start getting tough. And it's looking like Kaiser's just kind of experiencing that. Like, Archer does 
like, Archer's not here to fuck around. He's not here to just, you know... For, he's not here for fun and games. He here, he's here to win. He's here to win. But, uh, he... And he does. He does! Oh, Kukaiser got greedy. He got greedy and went back for more. He had it, but he went back for more. And Archer's like, yeah, no, man. You're going down before I do. Oh, he got greedy. That's what greed does to you. He had it won, but he got greedy. All right. And then we got Seymour versus Red Knight. This is definitely going to be an uphill battle for Red Knight, I think. Because, yeah, man, Plant's just got a lot of weight to him. He's got a lot of weight to him. You know, it's going to be hard to actually kill him. And, uh, oh, jeez. Just, uh whiff that up B horribly and just eat a bunch of damage from Poison Cloud. And... Whew, that was quick. Seymour's not fucking around. Just do, racking up all kinds of poison damage and then just killing with an up smash. Man, that happened fast. And Red Knight almost getting dunked horribly. Good grief. Like, Seymour's not fucking around in this match. Like, he is not fucking around, and it looks like Red Knight's trying to get his shit together. Because, uh, he's just not letting that plant recover. Just multiple back airs. Did not want to let him recover, but, uh... You know, you, you do gotta get back on the stage eventually. And, uh... Yeah, I don't think, uh... I don't think Red Knight's gonna have the same advantage here that he did against Doc. Because Seymour can actually recover. Seymour can indeed recover, and, uh, oh man, Red Knight losing another stock. It's gonna be a really, really uphill battle for, uh, our little winged knight here. But, uh, yeah, no. Plant's got, Plant's got too good a recovery for that. You gotta get him, and he does. That narrow will do it. But, uh, you know, if you're Red Knight right now, you can't be standing in those poison clouds, man. Those things will rack up damage fast. Those will rack up damage fast. You know, Red Knight's going for the down B and whatnot, but it's not quite working out for him. He just keeps teleporting into a poison cloud. And then he walked face first into a forward smash there. Oh, man. Oh, that down B succeeded. That worked. Uh, that one did not. It just got him to eat an up tilt. That's all that did. Oh, man, he almost got dunked, too. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, this one's probably going to be going the way of uh, Seymour here. Our plant buddy is probably going to win this one. That's probably just what's gonna happen. You know, the Wing Knight's putting up a fight here, but, uh... Oh, man. Yep, the up tilt does it. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, so, Seymour advances. Alright. Good job, Plant. Good job! Da -da -da -da. Moving on. So now we have Mustard Bowie. Should be an interesting match. This one should be interesting. Falcon Kirby. I have no idea, dude. I'm not really sure how this one's gonna play out because this one could go so many different ways. And by so many different ways, I mean it could go two different ways, right? It could be uh, Mustard wins or it could be Bowie wins. That's how this could go. And, uh... Oh. Oh. Okay, you saw that, right? You saw that, uh, you, you saw those, uh, repeated down airs and Bowie losing the stock because of it. Hmm. Yeah, this one might go the way of Mustard. I'm not really sure. I'm not 100% just yet, guys, but, uh, I think that's how this is gonna pan out. And, uh, yeah, oh, ooh. Yeah, things aren't looking super good for you, Bowie. Uh, you're gonna have to do something quick. You're gonna have to even that out. Even out that stock count, and, uh, you're gonna have to... You're gonna have to do something, buddy. Dunk him. Uh... Okay, that'll work. That'll work. You didn't get uh, you didn't get that uh, dare drill multiple times, so uh, that's good for you. But uh, yeah, you're gonna have to do something, pal, because uh, you're in a really bad spot. You're in a bad spot. That's you are you are not gonna out recover Kirby. You are not. Oh, and that forward smash. Yeah, thanks. I don't think you're gonna win this one, Bowie, but uh. You're not going to get three-stocked. I, I guarantee that. You hit hard enough that that's going to be nigh impossible. But, uh, Mustard just ducking under that forward smash with a down smash of his own. 
That's what Mustard do. He's a Kirby. He can do that. That's kind of an advantage Kirby has, and I think that's why his down smash is as good as it is, because, you know, like, you can dodge other attacks with that. And it's like... Ah, uh, uh, yes. But, uh... Yeah, I think this one's gonna go Mustard. Like, this one's gonna go the way of Mustard, and I think that's who's going to advance in the next round. I could be wrong. Uh, looking at the way things are right now, I don't think I am. But I mean, like, Bowie's fairly adept in the art of the dunk, so, uh, he just hasn't succeeded yet so far. <laughs> and, uh, oh no, that's a problem. That's a problem for him, anyway. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think he's gonna even out the stock, but I don't think he's got a chance of winning. I really don't. I really don't, guys. I just don't see it happening. I don't see it happening like this. But, oh, didn't he, the stocks weren't even evened out. That kind of surprises me a little bit. I kind of figured that would happen. But, uh, no, it looks like, a uh, looks like Mustard is the one advancing to the next round. All right, then. That's how that's going to go. Cool. All right. And then this will be the final game of round two, and then we'll move on to round three. So we got Shepard versus Kane. Okay. Ah. And I think Shepard's got a bit of an uphill battle here. He's definitely the more handsome of the two. Absolutely. Just. Mmm. Fantastic. Because, like, I mean, bro, do you see those arms? Like, do you see those arms? Do you see that chest? Mmm. <clears throat> Beautiful. But, uh, yeah. Like, he, I think he's definitely got the uphill battle here. It's not totally impossible because he kind of hits hella hard. You know, like, as you would expect him to. But, uh... I do think I need to improve him some. I do need to work on him a bit, I think. But, uh... You know, there's always improvements that could be made. There's always improvements that could be made. And, uh... You know, I... I think that's really going to show here. Because right now, it's... Yeah, it's, it's not looking super good. I don't know why Kane keeps doing up B on stage like that. I I don't understand why he does that. Maybe, like me, he's far too distracted by the handsome... By his uh, very, very handsome opponent. Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's just, just distracted. <clears throat> Which would have cost him a stock there. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Percent... Percent's even and out. Uh, Shepard here, just, he's, he's just running around and, uh... Swinging a sword and... You know, just... I mean... Shit, man. Maybe he wins. Maybe he does. I have no idea. He very well could. He very well could. Not by eating a forward smash, he won't. Not by eating a forward smash, no. But I, he just immediately fires back with one of his own. Okay, cool. So, we've... Oh. Oh, yeah, no, that's it. Oh! I thought that was. If it was a little bit further, it probably would have been. You know, like, Crumb's recovery is not super good. But, uh... You know... He could still win. Despite the fact that, uh, he's definitely down on... Ooh. Yeah. Oh. oh. I'm, su I'm actually surprised he made it back on that one. I am surprised he made it back. Uh, I could call it pleasantly surprised. Because I like seeing him move. And, oh, man. Oh, man, they're both in kill percent. They really are. Oh. Oh, man. How's this going? Oh, yeah, that's going to do it. That near off stage. Ah, uh, Kane takes the win. <sighs> Clearly the much less handsome of the two, but, uh... It was an earned win. It was an earned win. Just the less handsome one took the win. But, uh, that happens sometimes. That happens. Alright, so we're on to the third round. Ah, uh, we got Garlic Senior versus Sobek here, so... Man, this one's probably gonna go to way a K rule. Like this is gonna be a K rule game, I think. 
Like, I just think that's what's going to end up happening. I mean, Wario still hits pretty hard, but, like, he's just going to get outranged, right? And he's probably going to get dunked at some point. But, uh, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. I think I called this one right. This, like, this effect's going to take the win over Garlic Sr. here. But you know what? Making it to round three is... Make, he made it to round three, right? I'm thinking about it. I think this is top eight. I think this would be top eight. So... I mean, it's a good show all the same. And he is starting to get... He is starting to get his opponent into kill percent. Oh, yeah, he's in kill percent now. That's not a question. Ooh, this might be closer than I thought. This, ooh, no, nope, that up tilt will take that stock. But uh, his opponent is in kill percent. So, that's got to be considered. That absolutely has to be considered. Oh, man. A lot of parry going on, some grab going on. Damn, this is looking like a pretty decent fight. Yep, that even out the stock. Up smash will do it. All right. So right on, right on, buddy. You're good. It's like you go try to get him, Garden Senior. You just do what you gotta do, man. You try to take him out. You try to get him. Man, oh, uh, I think he did. Oh, did he get dunked? Is that what happened? Ah, oh, man, you're not gonna win like that. You're not gonna win like that, buddy. And you're taking enough damage now that. Uh, things aren't looking super good. No, sir. Things are not looking super good for you. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. That's going to be Sobek advancing in the next round. He's going to the semifinals. Well, all the same. Garak Senior, you made it to... You made it to round three. You made it to top eight. So... Well done. Well done. Alright, so now we have our Hell Tiger versus our, you know, teenager. I happen to clue. I don't think our teenager is going to advance any further beyond this. I really don't. I'd be surprised if he did, honestly. I would be surprised. But, uh, you know, he might could happen. Maybe our teenager is... Oh, no. Oh, my God. He just got dunked horribly. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. <laughs> he is not going to win like that. Oh, man. Ah, uh, sorry, teenager. But, uh... I don't think your itchy friend with the top hat is going to be able to save you from this. Maybe? Maybe. I mean, we know you're not getting three stocked. I think uh, I think Umbra was gonna be the only one who was gonna get three stocked here. I think that was gonna be the only three stock. But uh, mm -hmm. things aren't looking good for you, teenager. Things are not looking good. I don't think you're going to win this one. I really don't. I think. I think our Hellcat here is going to end up taking the win. Like, it's not going to be a two-stock, I don't think. The damage percent's just too much. And uh, Teenager here is a bit too aggressive for that to be the case. But, uh... Will the Teenager actually win? Probably not. I doubt it. Just, I mean, Hellcat just hits so hard. He's in the center of right. He just hits so fucking hard. And by the time you're, you know, getting like 80-90%, like, he can kill you there. Like, he can absolutely kill you at that point. But, uh, you know, our teenager, he's not going out without a fight. You know, he's he's going to try his damnedest, but he's just going to eat a four, smash at the ledge, and die. And, uh, that's that. But, hey, you know what? Good job, teenager. You made it to top eight. You made it to top eight, buddy. So, pat yourself on the back. Pat yourself on the back. All right. Next up, we have Archer versus Seymour. 
So this should be an interesting fight. Buy this plant. How's this gonna go? I have no idea. Three, Haven't a clue. One, Not a clue, but uh... I don't think Seymour's poison strategy is gonna quite work out. I don't think it's quite gonna pan out here. Mm, maybe. Maybe. But uh... He's really do gotta, he really do gotta be careful about going off stage against Bylus because, you know, up B. Oh shit, yeah, that poison. Uh, that poison combined with a forward smash, like, that, that racks up a lot of damage. Oh man. Yeah, you could see just how much damage that poison, that, uh, poison move, that's, oh man, that, that, that's just disgusting how much damage it does. Just look at that, look at that. Oh god. It just does so much damage. <laughs> that's gross. But uh, Seymour is the first to lose the stock there. God, it's so gross how much damage it does. That poison. Oh man. Wow. But uh, yeah, things are getting interesting here. Like, the percent. Oh man. Yep, yep. There comes a point where you just. Your, the percent that you have is just so high. You know, it's um, like it's gonna be an amazing thing if you actually make it back at all. Yeah, sometimes that's just how it goes. God, that poison just evened it out. That poison evened out the damage percent. God, it's disgusting. How much, how much damage that poison does? It's disgusting. <laughs> okay. So, Archer, are you gonna let this potted plant beat you? Are you gonna let this potted plant beat you? That is the question. I'd certainly hope not. I'd certainly hope you'd, you know, actually try, you know, beating the shit out of him. Go beat the shit out of him. Because, uh... Oh, shit, yeah. Whew. Yeah, that down air. Oh, oh, damn. Fire back with a forward smash for... Whew, buddy. We are down to our... We are down to the last stock here, but, uh... Archer's really gotta watch out for that poison, because that shit is no joke. Yeah, plant's poison is no joke. But, uh... It's looking like... Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, the percents are just about even now. That's what plant's poison can do. I can just let them just even out... Just even things out, close out stocks, just like that, man. That poison. Whew, buddy. Seymour advances. All right. We'll have our semifinalists soon. Next one's going to be Mustard versus Kane. So that's going to be an interesting one. This is going to be an interesting one. I actually have no idea how this is going to pan out. <laughs> no idea how this is going to play out. All right. Well, let's see it, buddy. Let's see it, buckaroo. Do -do 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 -do. Da 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 Man, must have just taken an early lead here. Uh, Kane's gonna have to do something if he wants to go on. Cause, uh, Mustard's fucking him up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mustard did not show up to mess around. He showed up here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. He's all out of gum. Somebody get this man some gum. Get this man some gum. Yeah, I guess uh, Mustard's just fucking him up. That, that, that's kind of what I'm seeing right now. He's like, yeah, like, I mean, Kane's trying to fight back, and, uh... Ah, that forward smash almost did it, but, uh... Almost did it with that forward smash, but, uh... Yeah, Mustard here, Mustard, he's not fucking around. Alright, he got killed by an up air, but, uh... That, that evened things out pretty quick. But, uh... Oh, how's this? I actually have no idea how this is going to play out. Because, uh, you know, some parry going on there. But good, Kane, you need to do that, because otherwise you're going to eat a forward smash to the face. And you don't want to eat a forward smash to the face. That's not good. That does not help your case. That does not, that's not really conducive to winning. 
It is not conducive to win. All right, so. Ooh, damn. He's going for the dare and the down smash. And he's just, he's just trying to, he's just trying to get him with dare. <laughs> he just whips out the hammer, <laughs> landing behind him after a nair, whips out the hammer, and just fucking swings for the fences. Like, oh my god, this is why Amiibo are awesome. This is why Amiibo are awesome. <laughs> like, who else would have whipped out the hammer at that moment? <laughs> who would have, what human player would have whipped out the hammer right then? Like, honestly. <laughs> wow. Alright, so... The percents are even because, uh, Mustard decided he was going to try to take him down with him with a up B, but, uh, you know, Kanan, he's dark bit. He's got great recovery. Ah, uh, this could be anyone's game. Who knows? Who knows, man? This could go either way. But, uh, oh, man. Oh, it's close. It's close. It ain't going to last too much longer, though. This this round is not gonna last all that much longer. Oh man. Oh, and mustard takes it for that. Oh, that forward smash. Mustard takes the win, and he advances to the semifinals. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right. All right then. So that is that. Now we have our semifinals. So we got Sobek versus Hellcat, and we're gonna have Seymour versus Mustard on the other side of the bracket. Let's go. Let's see how this plays out. I actually have no idea. I have no idea. Cause like I think this one could go either way. I just. Mm. Who knows, man? Both of these, both of these heavyweights just hit so hard. They hit so freaking hard. And, oh, going for the dunk but got blocked by an up air. Oh, buddy. And I just clap. Clap him in the face. Throw a crown. Get hit with the side B. And then, uh, go back to stage. Where the center tries to down smash the ledge to, you know, make you not get back on. Or kill you when you do. But, uh, you fired him the wrong way, but that's okay. You just went over there and just clapped him. Clapped those cheeks. That's what you did. Good job, Sobek. But, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I still think this can go either way, because, uh, you know, that kind of percent. 140? Yeah. You're in kill percent. I don't care who you are. <laughs> just punch him in the face. Alright, and then throw your crown at him. Nice. Not back air. Alright. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Is that side be at the ledge right there? That's not a yeah. That does it. But uh, I haven't seen any dunks yet, which kind of surprises me because I think both of these characters are fairly adept at dunking things with down air. Uh, it seemed like I was going for it, but uh, I decided to bail out on it. I'm not really sure why. Because like, I mean, incapable recovery is not that bad. You know, he's got decent recovery. I'm not really sure why he decided to bail on the dare when he probably would have got it. And throwing a down smash of his own out. And throwing another down smash. Tank him through that forward smash. Oh, oh, buddy. That's the kind of thing we like to see. And then he gets hit with a down smash of his own. Alright. So, yeah. Kill percent. That's where we're at. We're getting pretty close to having both... Yeah, we're getting close to having both of them down on our final stock here. Yeah, that forward tilt will do it. Holy shit. Alright. How's this one gonna go? Is it... Oh! No, I think somebody was going for a dare there, but uh, that didn't pan out. Gonna clap him in the face. Shoot him. What are you doing? What? Very good use of that down smash, just powering through. Just not taking a hit by that forward. Just there. Alright. Just whack him away. Harry down smash, and there we have it. That's that match. Sobek is a finalist. Alright, so we have one of our final round contenders. 
now we move to the other side of the bracket. Seymour versus Mustard. We're on a plant. Kirby. Alright. How's this gonna go? Ugh, fuck, I have no idea, dude. Neither of these two are here to fuck around. Neither of them are here to fuck around, but uh... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm just kind of engrossed in watching this one. Oh my god. Yeah, they're not fucking around. There's an up smash there. Holy shit. Yeah, alright, charging the poison. Taking a forward smash. Dare? Dare? There we go. That's one stock. That is one stock right there. Some chomp chomp with a forward tilt. Uh, yeah, Plant's got his poison cloud charged up all the way. So that's gonna do a hell of a lot of. That's gonna do a lot of damage. But uh, now is not the time we do want to use that. You know, your opponent's already in kill percent at this point. Just you just confirmed that they're even more in the kill percent. You gotta use the kill move at this point. Got to use a kill move. Just wail on him, whack him. That's what you get. That's what you gotta do, bud. Man, you gotta whack him. You gotta just. Just, just swing for the fences, buddy. You got it. Dump, Harry. Jeez, Seymour, you, you, you gotta take a stock, buddy. You gotta take a stock, because otherwise you're in a really bad spot. There it is. But you're still in a really bad spot. Because, uh... Yeah. 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 Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. That does not surprise me. That was, uh... I don't know, you... Oof. Jeez, you're, you're down a stock, Seymour. You're you'd ha you're gonna have to do something to even that out, because uh, buddy, you were in a terrible place. You were in such a terrible spot. You're yeah yeah you're not gonna duck at Kirby who's only got 25%, bud. Like that's not gonna happen. But uh oh man, with you at yeah with you at that kind of percent, you're yeah Kirby can kill you. Like Kirby can kill you, and you have to be careful about that. You are, and you are down a stock, bud. You're down a stock. Oh, the up smash, though. That evens the stocks out, but, uh. Man, you're gonna need some hella good play to see more. You're gonna need some hella good play to come out with this one. I, you got away with it against Archer, but I don't think you're gonna get away with it here. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, like I said, Mustard's not here to fuck around. Mustard is not here to fuck around, and we have our other finalist, so it's gonna be Sobek versus Mustard. K. Rule, Kirby. Oh, oh, shit. This should be a very, very interesting, interesting final. final. Alright, here we have it. This is the final round. The winner here wins this little tournament. The winner here wins this little tournament. And oh man. Oh buddy. This should be fun. This should be fun. I actually have I don't actually know who's gonna end up winning this one. Because shit, it could go either way, really. At least I think it will. At least I think it could. Like I said, Mustard's not here to fuck around. He's he's not taking no prisoners today. <laughs> like it, just mustard seems like he's in a winning mood today. It, it, it just seems like he just feels like winning right now. And yeah, now yeah. it just really feels like mustard just wants to win right now. And I mean, I'm sure his opponent feels kind of the same way, but like when mustard wants it, oh yeah, he'll just he'll just take the win when he wants it. Like he almost took that win. He almost took a stock right there. There it was. Yeah, man, when Mustard wants to win, he just does. You know, like, sometimes I think he just doesn't really feel like winning that day, or he wants to give somebody else a shot to glory. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Sobek was pissed about losing that stock, so we just bounced him off the stage with a back air. Good grief. Alright. 
Which, yeah, no, I think Sovik decided he's done fucking around too. So I think we get, I think we get a pretty serious, you know, match on our hands here. Because I don't think either of them actually wants to lose. So I think they're, I think they're both going for it. I think they are both going for it. Oh man, but I think Sovik started a little bit too late. I think he might have started too late. But then again, you know, Smash, Amiibo, things could turn in a moment. Fucking Mustard whipping out that damn hammer. <laughs> He's just whipping out that hammer. And it's working for him. It's like, wow. Like, this is why Amiibo are awesome. Like, who else would have thought to whip out the hammer? Like, really? Man, all kinds of parry going on. Some firing back with a forward tilt, clap, up tilt, just uppercut. Oh, man. This is proving to be a good fight. Yeah, I don't think either of them's... Oh! No. The down air. <laughs> oh, shit. That was gnarly. Yep, the socks are even again. Look, I don't think either of these two are here to fuck around. I think they're both going at it. <laughs> they're just going for it. This is anyone's game, really. Anyone's game. Either of them could win it. Oh. Oh man, this could start this could start looking mustard real fast. But then again, you know, things can change at a moment. Things can change at a moment's notice. And, you know, it might be looking mustard right now. Oh shit. Yep. Hard to say. Hard to say. Oh fuck. The stomach's not fucking around, he's trying to clap him out. Ah, uh, Mustard's not letting it happen, though. Like, he's going for the win. He could do it. He could do it. The parry and a forward smash for two. Oh, man. Just parry and fire back with a forward smash. Just knocking out our little... Knocking out our little yellow puffball there. Yeah, Mustard takes the L in the final. Which means... Well, I'm sure you can guess what that means. And there's our winner. There's our winner, everyone. Ah, uh, oh man. Amiibo are great. I fucking love Amiibo. Because they just... They just do all kinds of weird, wacky, goofy things. And it's just... And it's just wonderful. Like, they're so fun to watch a lot of the time. But, uh, anyhow. Yeah, here you can see, uh, how each of the matches played out. So, uh, yeah. This time around... We got a K-Roll winner. Alrighty. Up, oh, I'm gonna head out, and I will see you all later. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for sticking around and just enjoying some good old Amiibo fun.